Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you And welcome back to the Beta Plan as we return to Big Sky within the After the End mod. And, uh, well, I have realized something. After all, we have heard many stories of before the event, the cataclysmic event of a country that ha also had a bird as one of its greatest symbols. A bird with a white hand flying through the sky on which you could see those sparkling stars. And also showing its white pristine, showing its justice, as well as the red of the blood for which in the people toil for its country. So why should we not have another bird as our symbol? And moreover, of course, I assume this would be a fox or something like that with the eyes over here, the nose here. Take a good look at it. Just don't look at the hand here. Just aim and look at the eyes. It's two mm, things in one and that I would be seeing as the all-seeing bird. A bird that spreads her wings across to protect her children like a mother bird. We will go with this flag. We will become First, we can create the kingdom of Yellowstone already? Sorry, I got a little distracted. Shall we, shall we do that one? The kingdom of Yellowstone. Yeah, I think that's a good one. We'll create this. And we will create... Uh, can do that one. But we can create... This one. And we have become an emperor. Or actually, an empress, of course. What am I saying? Emperor. Pa! But, uh, and this is our color. A uh, golden like color. So let's see if this convinces. Yes, Dear Lodge wants to become part of us. Snake Water. As does West Snake. Let's see how far we can make these lands go. Empress Oriel the Unfaithful. And there we go. And we have obtained a lot of land. And we are becoming threatening immediately. Why is that? The vassalizations are causing threats. Well, too bad. Um, you are Gaian. Won't you offer vassal? Won't you accept vassalization? Foreign culture. Ah, you're Portlander. Well, that's unfortunate. Clearwater. What do you think about? You're also Portlander. You're not too keen on that. Are you? You're a mountainer. Offer vassalization. Absolutely. He will take that. Are you a mountainer? No, you're also Portlander. Portlanders have, uh, gone up a bit. I think you're also Portlander, right? Yes, Lovejoy. Hmm. And that's actually not even properly on our side. So, could we gain this? Foreign culture, not my du jour liege. I don't think we can gain any... M gain much more out of this. What we do now have, of course, is also the Kingdom of Yellowstone, which would is causing some issues here, because they will want it. Uh, yeah, desires the Kingdom of Yellowstone, minus 20. But this gives us some nice du jour claims on, well, not that much land, but just a wee little bit land. You, Summit. We can, uh, we have the du jour claim on you. I think that is something we should do in this episode as well as uh, I think, yeah, that's also ours. So let's let's take these two countries without making it a holy war. The Zuru claims, after all, cause people to be less, uh, well, saying, yo, you're expanding too crazily. And we have already expanded um, now quite a bit by creating this empire. But um, let's change the name. This is not be the Thunderland. I would say this is the Motherland. Uh, 
And then I would say that the adjective is the mothers. The motherland. I think that is fine. Alright. Let's start the episode proper. Uh, we have commanders, probably because of some... Oh, we have three of them. You're pregnant. I am not going to put a pregnant person in thing. You have wrath and you have a few good things that would help. Not yet a commander trait, but you do have some good things that would help. A courtier in the Thunderland. You are brave and you are also cruel. Both pretty good for combat. Oh, and you are a flanker and a leader. Yes, please. To Agnes the Old. This, um, this expansion I enjoy. I thought this culture here. This is mountainer culture, but they are apparently ruled by Portlanders. That's unfortunate. All of them are Portlanders? Yes, everything is Portlander here. Hey, hey, hey. Not what I would like to see. But, oh well, can't um, do anything about it. Hmm. I was looking at this lady because we have more than enough room now to... Uh, they're forming defensive pacts against us because we formed an empire. Now, and because we vassalized two dukes, but hey, they wanted to become part of us. We did that diplomatically. I don't know why that would cause so much unrest. Oh well. Well, before too many defensive pacts are formed, and I am going to be in the shitter, I uh, already got the problem. Um, you are going to aid him then. Is that true? I think so. I think both of them Catholic. Well, I'm going to declare these wars now. No. Duchy of St. Af- Yeah, okay, that's no problem. The Zur claim. Declare war. The Zur claim. Why does the council not want this? It's too weak. Pragmatis, we're already busy fighting another war. Oh, come on! Well, we'll do them one by one then. And um, do we have? Ah, uh, yes, we all uh, we have a very good leader here because she makes us the troops move faster. Ooh. Iowa is against us. Yowza! A lot of people are starting to go against us. We don't have that much threat. 32%! Oh, it doesn't even increase, apparently. Um, oh, that's a marriage. Oops. It's not entirely what I meant, so I kind of meant this. Um, did Washington just really join... Washington joined against us. Washington formed a defensive pact against us. Washington! How many times have we not helped you? That is... So bull. That is more bull than bull have a bull in them. Well, apparently we're going to have to sit on our hands for a while. With our finger up our, up our butt because everybody is going like, You got too big via diplomatic ways. But you want to have me warfare? Hmm. That was apparently not entirely worth it. That was more men than it should have. Way more men, but... You know, goodbye. And revoke title. And we can because you are of the wrong faith. Alright then. Come on. Good. That is done. What are you part of? You are part of a duchy that isn't yet uh, assigned. Alright, so we need a 
just an individual count here, if possible. Um. Uh, no. Because, strangely enough, it's about landed suns here. Yeah. Mm, this sun? Or this sun? Does it really matter? Well, she is a commander of us, so that is a bit of a problem. So, I guess my firstborn then? Or my secondborn son, let me put it better. Yeah. Grand and the title. Though we could, could hold it ourselves, now I realize. My family member would gain a title. <laughs> um, can I not upgrade this holding immediately first to become... Oh, I can't even do that. Well, then I probably will give it to my son and he will probably make it feudal. Grand London title. Natrona. Hey, Jules. Enjoy. The motherland grows. And I don't mind making Yellowstone, because then we can give, for instance, this area away. Give this area away later on, make it a double kingdom, and then that way we can go south and everything would be fine. Here, there we go, even that's adopted feudalism. Thank you so much. But then we can divide it later on, because you cannot have endless vassals, of course. More people join the defensive pact against me. Hmm. Sounds to me like I'm going to have um, to be a wee bit careful. Uh, perhaps uh, off-camera I will just burn off some of this aggressive expansion. But we will take Summit. After all, it's still one county, and one county means just siege down that county and you win the war. And he is still tribal, so that also should be pretty easy to do. And he is Mormon, so I don't think that a lot of people will come to his aid. Ah, now everybody is fine. Yeah, only the Kingdom of Deseret will come to his aid. And we don't care about that. The 8th of February, we will crush these guys. They're out on the fort. I assume we will win? We have 3 to 1. And seeing he is trying, I assume that he also has many light troops. So the troop quality should be the same. What the heck? How did we fail to catch them? Oh well. We will seize this down very quickly, before then the war will also be won. So let them just run around. They're probably going to Natrona because, well, it's really, really weak right now. No, they uh, found another place nearby. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's also just good enough, but they will siege this slower than we will siege, and thus this will also become part of us. And then we will have our end score of a mm, threat. I have done a much higher threat, and nobody did a damn, but... And nobody could give a damn, but nowadays, no, nowadays they are really... Eh. Is this actually a kingdom of Deseret? Yes, the Duchy of Boulder is attacking against Deseret. And they are... De no, Deseret is attacking for Boulder. Hold on. The Kingdom of Dakota can be now usurped. Yeah, that's what I said. Because he currently doesn't hold the capital within Dakota. But he first would need to win this war against... Uh, Kearney uh, in order to... Uh, well, have that succeed. Rock has actually expanded over here. Alright. Family expansion. Yeah, and this is Candy that still holds one of these. This is going to be a really weird water because Rock now holds the top holding, but not Candy because Candy has a wool for uh, Nebraska, which is over here. This is this one county. Actually, there's also this one, but they didn't get it because Rock was uh, uh, weird stuff. Weird stuff. But there is our own 100% wool school. Excellent. Goodbye, and I immediately revoke your title because you are not of the right culture and not of the right religion. 
Boom. Let us see. Um, actually, hold on. Yeah. Which part in Dutchy are you part of? Of Sweetwater. We have somebody of Sweetwater already. That is Beckworth. That seems like a pretty decent chap. Um. Dutch of Silver Bow. Dutch of Sweetwater. We could create those. Um. And I cannot, for some reason, feudal, make this feudal anyway, so I would say... Uh, but if I make him the... my new son... my, my last son the, the Duke of Sweetwater, he won't get Beckworth beneath him. It will also still be of Hive Springs. Only if I give him the duchy title, it will be alright. And Sweetwater, I think, Summit is the capital. So he will want that. All right, well, so be it. Uh, no, the council is not four. All right, what about if I give it to my own son? Then everybody is okay with it. Well, then I'm just going to give it to my son. Voila. And we miss a commander, of course, because we have mm, sent his wife away. But, well, we can use him himself because he's also brave and cruel. So that will work just fine as a commander. And now all our sons are landed. And the motherland has grown. Uh, actually, we have a de jure claim on this for dear large. Yeah, we'll move up there as well. Why am I being so aggressive? Well, I know that uh, 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 people are going to come here and will declare their own, uh, will fight against it, but there are single kind of counts, and I am okay with taking them on. I really am. Oh, wait a second, High Desert is over here? Oh, that's odd, but whatever. Yeah, Washington. We could actually attack Washington itself at a certain point. Don't you forget that our daughter, the one to inherit, is married to a man that has title claims. Unfortunately, however, he is not within our... Um, what do you say? Um, um, he's not a vassal of ours because he's, he has his own land and therefore we could not fight, I think, for his claims anyways. Because we could, in the fact that he is... Yeah, he is a male with a claim, like this man, but... He's not a vassal of ours, so we can't do it. Very unfortunate. Also, still, of course, fortunate, of course, that it is now my first daughter to go into inherit in a way, because my second daughter is better stat-wise. 12, 10, 9, 12, 18. That's awesome, in comparison to... 10, 9, 14, 8, 9. It is, it's not bad, but... Well, she doesn't have a focus, so she could also really get, like, three more points. It's, she is the better one, but... Yeah, she has no, uh... She had no good marriage, and of course we have become... An episode ago, Prima Congenitor. So that's just the way it is. How are the men that actually have become all vassals? Uh, not too too happy, but not too shabby either. And how's dear Lodge? Fontanella, uh, he's pretty happy. Twenty-one, and of course they're not the only Fontanella Duke. And they're also here. No, I thought that was impossible because it was Gavelkind, but alright. We'll become one. The Duchy of Saskatchewan. And the Duchy of... Jefferson. We'll become a powerful vassal for sure. That will want a seat on the council. Our money income seems to be really good. But it's not that good. Huh. 
it just feels like it. Perhaps just the travel times on that long that I'm like, hey, wow, our economy looks awesome. Well, that's me. We are going to have to have a we're going to have a fight on our hands. It's on the second of October that we attack. Oh, another revolt within our own lands. And the man that's going to go for his claims. He is attacking King of Grand Francisco. That's not too bad. I think a holy sign is there, but I think he will win his cause as a whole, whole second thing. Alright, time to declare that war. Declare war. The Jure claim. And yes, we will have, of course, Washington and what have you not fighting against us because of the, the packs that are there, but mm, that's no problem. Ah, my dog. Yes, of course, I will train him personally. But this was a... It's a hard fight because we're fighting into mountains and we are apparently also crossing a river here? Uh, yeah, I can see the river here. But I knew that the way I had timed it, it should be fine. And it is. Voila, 6% already in the wall simply for that battle, and we will siege this down slowly, and it will all be absolutely fine. Oh. A dangerous faction. Elective succession. In the motherland and in Big Sky. I'm not too, uh... People are not too pleased with me have changed to Premier Congenitor and of course having waged a few wars. Well, I can't imagine. Because sometimes people get war tired, which was actually oh, the whole reason why in, well, World War Two or in that era, first people tried to, well, placate Hitler, for instance, by giving him the Sudeten Germany in of the Czech Republic. They just didn't want another world war, so they just said, alright, alright. Or, for instance, the, uh, well, occupation of the Rhineland. And the remilitarization of the Rhineland, I would say. I should say. But, uh, yeah. That is all what is, uh, happens can happen when you are war-tired. And you can't blame people for being war-tired. Not one bit, I would say. I need to gather up a little bit more army, though, because if they all combine, they are starting to threaten this army. So, hence, we do that. And if it comes to a point that we have to give away, for instance, the Rockies, I don't mind. Uh, I mean, Yellowstone. Which, by the way, does have a nice little tree and what have you not. But it does almost seem like it's cute. Like there's a little bit more green on the left side than there is on the right side. Yeah, I'm quite positive that it's skewed. Like, two pixels or so. Well, doesn't really, really matter. I mean, I couldn't make this. Well, I might, but I mean, I have programmed before, but I would have to learn the whole, whole thing I'm a jig all over again. And I know that mainly the map is, uh, takes quite a little bit of time. Oh, what the heck? The Red Dawn! The Nova Ruski invaders, aided by saboteurs and collaborators among the defenders, have established an outpost on the Pacific. They have? Fierce resistance from small groups of armed locals did not turn back the invaders. And the surviving population will be re-educated until they conform with the new order. The foreigners are wasting no time constructing a sturdy wall to demarcate their holdings. These are the Russians, right? Yeah. Nova Ruski. Where are you? <laughs> Novo Ruski destroyed the Japanese people that, that invaded over here, yet they are now destroyed by the, the Russians. History. Uh, where is it? Right. The Japanese were here, right? Were they not? Am I mad? I'm quite positive the Japanese were around here. We had pushed in the SoCal. But the Russians have then landed a little bit more south than they claimed. I know for sure the 
it's Sierra Madre. That, that's all proper location. Where are the Japanese gone? Here, tourists will so go to Marksman of Bay Keiko. There the hell. And what do you have? You only have a house and you have supposedly the cannot buy it. Yeah, he did take it over, but it's not shown in history. He held more land than this. Oh, there it is. See, he did, he did knock out the Japanese. So the Russians have knocked out the Japanese. On of the American continent. Okay. Uh-oh. Highlander Springs. She's developing over there. Can we usurp? We can usurp Dakota! We can usurp Dakota. Hmm. Are we going to do that? It would give us another lot of Dejour claims. And I could give it to a family member. The kingdom. Hmm. And this is also family member in Dakota, right? Right. Ooh. <laughs> it would split up Dakota into small little itty bitty parts. Would not be bad. Yeah, they destroyed and they were a pain in our ass. You serve this title. If anyone else wants it, we will do it later. Kaboom! Destroyed. No more is Dakota around. Boulder might expand to do it later, but currently they have some truces, so... What have you not? And I can't unfortunately declare war now for the Dejour claim over here, but... Oh! Go and why not? Well, because we have our troops out. But we might do that later. But they immediately uh, join defensive pacts. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. You are a single county count sometimes. But in this episode, I would like to end this war... Ouch. Got a little caught out. A fencing expert. You're becoming renowned for uh, as a skilled fencer. You understand the subtleties of numerous fighting stands, and your artful parries on swift thrust allow you to quickly declare victory in most bouts. Aspiring swordsmen come from miles around to challenge you and learn your techniques. It's not difficult to boast about your fencing. Uh, I could gain proud, or I could gain humble. Well, proud is fine. There we go. We lost Humble, we gained Proud. And even more people have joined the defensive pact. And is that because you're usurping that kingdom title? No, that is no other problem. Oh, come on, we really would like to end it in this episode. Yeah, well, you know what? I want to end this in this episode, this war, and it is ended in this episode. I say, I thank you for watching, and remember, great. Peril yields great beauty.